Hello and welcome to this new course on uh, Swift UI and MVVM uh, where we will be building this news app using um, Swift UI as a front end and MVVM as the architectural pattern. So let me go ahead and uh, give you a quick walkthrough of what we're going to be building. So we're going to be uh, building this news app. Um, we'll call it News Plus. And uh, in this, you're going to be basically uh, you're going to be listing, uh, fetching a news uh, from the uh, news outlet uh, called uh, news.org. And uh, basically, news.org is, uh, is a website that actually provides you an API um, uh, that you can use. Uh, so it's called newsapi.org. And uh, uh, this, this, uh, this website actually gives you option to fetch uh, news via API and uh, there are various sections actually that you can actually you can uh, retrieve uh, from using your API so for example like you know articles about something so these are articles about bitcoins you can retrieve those you can uh, retrieve top business headlines in US or some somewhere you can uh, retrieve like you know uh, there is a mention about some company um, for example like you know apple from yesterday uh, you can actually retrieve that so there's like you know various uh different categories uh that you can go about and retrieve news uh live news about them um you know, for um for for any of your purpose now there is a uh, there is a pricing involved so um let me actually uh bring you that so uh initially for the developer it's actually zero dollars so you don't um you don't have to pay anything and news articles available with one delay so these are the these are the uh, restrictions that you have uh, with developer account which is actually good for us uh, to try it out and, and build it but like you know if you get to a point where you're actually making a good amount of money out of this you can actually go ahead with other plans as well and um, and uh, and then you can you can get rolling okay so uh, that's what we're going to be basically uh, retrieving. The, that's where we're going to be retrieving the news from. And then what we're going to do is we're going to parse this in a list um, of uh, items using Swift UI. So in the back end, we're going to be following MVVM architectural pattern. And then we're going to be building UI using Swift UI. And we're going to be printing basically the. Um, uh, news article what's it about and uh, where it's coming from and uh, yeah, image and uh, then the user can also act on uh, these uh, news um, so for example they can uh, tap on it and we will open a modal uh, dialog that will basically take them to that URL on a uh, web view so this is where uh, we are using WK web view uh, and the reason I'm using WK web view not uh, Safari uh, SF Safari controller because WK web view embeds within your own uh, creation your own view so maybe in future video I'll show you how to use uh, Safari uh, uh, Safari browser within your within your view but Safari browser comes with its own controller so it, ha it has its own buttons and stuff like that now uh, WK web view or WebKit web view component gives you ability to basically customize that and there is no uh, Swift UI representation for WK web view so what we're going to be seeing is basically how we can use UI kit version of WK web view and port it into our Swift UI project okay now from here you can actually read the news and uh, once you're done reading you can simply uh, dismiss and uh, go on and read another one okay and uh, that's how basically uh, as you can see that's how this is um, uh, this is going to uh, render based upon which um, which news article we have clicked okay so this is uh, what we are gonna be building and uh, once again let me give you a quick walkthrough of like you know how the, the architectural design pattern that we're going to be following and that one is going to be MVVM now this image is coming from Wikipedia and uh, what we're going to have is basically we're going to have um, a model 
for M, a V model for V M and uh, and basically a view for V. So M V V M. Okay. So basically, what happens is model is basically your uh, your backing, your true representation of the data uh, that is responsible for basically getting all the data, retrieving it from the server or services, collecting it and stuff like that. Now, view model takes a responsibility to uh, massage this data and make it uh, presentable uh, into the view. Okay, so you actually provide a binding between view and view model. And it just so happens that SwiftUI, because SwiftUI is written in such a way where it's actually a, um, a true uh, UI framework, uh, it actually provides the ability to bind using combine um, where you can bind your views to some models and then uh, to be binding and basically then start interacting with those changes so uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get our news article into the model so we can actually get news uh, that's going to be our model and then uh, we're going to have another view model that's going to basically be responsible for uh, taking those changes that model has and converting it so you can take it and put it in and show it to user okay so that's basically going to be the overall architecture right, that we're going to be following now it looks it may look like you know a little bit more complicated like you're doing more work but it actually gives us um, a better way of uh, organizing our code or architecting our code because we are basically removing dependencies from each other so anytime you can change a view and all you need to do is uh, build a new view and bind it to existing view model so none of our uh, none of our logic is uh, that's that none of our logic that actually belongs to uh, the back end about retrieving data and stuff like that is going into the view so our view is independent of any of the business knowledge any of the any of the uh, basically brain part of um, of the code and then uh, you can easily replace that. Now your view model is basically where it has all the um, all the massaging, like how data representation should look like. Um, so uh, how the data is going to be formatted and stuff like that. That's like that's all in here. So if you decide to change that at one, at some point, you can easily change that and then replace it with some other representation, and you wouldn't have to touch either of these. You just have to uh, provide the proper binding for each of these, and then you're going to be done. And same goes with the model. When you change the model, you can actually simply change the model as long as it's publishing the same uh, sort of objects. You don't have to change anything in here in the view model so for example instead of use api.org you started using some other outlet uh, to uh, basically retrieve your uh, data yahoo news or something uh, in that case you wouldn't have to actually change your view model because your model representation uh, model backing is going to be independent of what view model needs to know so you can actually very independently um, change that now this also gives you a flexibility basically to uh, unit test all these. Uh, so basically you can provide individual unit tests to the components for view model and model. Your view does not need uh, to be unit tested because that's actually part of UI testing that you can do. But all the other things like you know that involves business and data massaging and data binding and stuff like that, you can actually easily uh, unit test those pieces. Okay, so that is what we are going to be uh, doing in this uh, in this uh, next series of videos okay so hope you're excited and uh, in the next video we're going to get started with our project structure okay so let's hop into the next video and we will get started there thanks so much